Hello, and welcome to FMCS Grant Application Basics. This session has been designed to provide information that will assist you in the process of applying for labor management grants through the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service, also known as the FMCS. My name is Heather Butler, and I will be your guide for this session. In this session, I'll briefly review the grant planning process and provide you with some basic information on how to write a grant for the FMCS. The Labor Management Cooperation Act, passed in 1978, authorizes the FMCS to provide assistance in the establishment and operation of labor management committees. The FMCS grants program was first implemented in fiscal year 1981. Grant funding provided by the FMCS is meant to assist the parties in finding creative and innovative ways to explore approaches to increase productivity and competitiveness, solve problems of mutual concern to both labor and management, promote the involvement of workers in decisions that impact their working lives, encourage collective bargaining, and enhance economic development. If you don't already have one, forming an LMC is the first step in the grant application process. Your committee will work together in order to complete the application package and develop your proposal. Ensure that your committee falls into one of these categories, company, plant, area, private industry, or public sector. Federal agencies and their employees are not eligible. It's essential that you have the support of your LMC for your grant application. Once everyone is on board and you have a clear goal and plan, you can actually begin to write the grant application. Make sure you work with your LMC to ensure your proposal meets all of the grant requirements. Appendix A of the solicitation includes the Labor Management Cooperation Grant Program Applicant Checklist. That needs to be completed as part of the process. You'll need to work with your LMC to complete this checklist. The first step in your FMCS grant application process is to identify the problem you're trying to solve. What labor management relationship or job security problem needs improvement? What is the organizational effectiveness or economic development issue you want to fix? What is the solution you hope to achieve and how would receiving a grant help you meet your specific goals? For example, does your organization need to lower health care costs and improve employee wellness? Are there specific health and safety concerns that need to be addressed? Can you identify specific problems that are impacting competitiveness and inhibiting economic development? Are there work communication and relationship problems that are interfering with organizational effectiveness? When identifying your problem and how a grant would help you solve it, keep in mind that FMCS grants may not be used to hire trainers for any training programs that FMCS professional mediators can provide, or solely to purchase equipment or supplies. For example, a grant may not be used solely to purchase safety boots or other equipment to help a company save money and remain competitive. If, on the other hand, there is specific equipment your LMC thinks will help you address the problem you wish to solve, make sure you provide sufficient details about how the equipment will enable your project to succeed and thus meet your ultimate goal. After you have developed a collaborative problem statement, it's a good time to familiarize yourself with the fiscal year 2015 application solicitation. Pay special attention to the deadlines, required elements, and the selection criteria. Your grant application must meet all of the requirements set out in the solicitation in order to be considered complete. Throughout this process, keep in mind that FMCS grants may only be awarded to support the establishment and operation of labor management committees established for the purpose of improving labor management relationships, job security, organizational effectiveness, enhancing economic development, or involving workers in decisions affecting their jobs, including improving communication with respect to subjects of mutual interest and concern. Organization is key in any writing process. The more you prepare before you begin writing, the easier it'll be to do the writing. Create a custom checklist of everything you need to do to complete the process, and include in that the FMCS checklist found in the application solicitation. Gather everything you need and keep it all together in a well-organized folder or binder. Have your checklists handy and easy to access. This creates a quick reference guide that will make the writing process easier for you. 
Here are some of the steps we suggest you include in your pre-writing planning. Familiarize yourself with the SF-424 and include a hard copy in your folder or binder. Note the application deadline and work backwards setting time targets to make sure you have adequate time to complete the process. Write a clear objective statement of two to three sentences explaining the problem you wish to solve. Then, write a clear statement explaining the method of resolving your problem. This should be two or three sentences as well. Think of these two statements as your elevator speech. Constantly refer to these statements as you write your grant application to make sure you are staying on track. You'll use them as your basis of your problem statement for your grant application. Once you are organized and have completed your custom checklists referenced earlier, you're ready to begin writing the grant. When reviewing your grant application, the FMCS Grant Review Board wants to discover the story of your project. How will your project make an impact on your organization and community? Why does your project matter? As the grant writer, it's your job to tell us that story. As the writer, it's also your job to be clear about all the important details of your project. Tell us why your project is important. We really want to know. When identifying your problem and how your proposed project will help you solve it, be sure to explain the outcomes you hope to achieve. What are the expected results? Be specific about the outcomes and how you intend to measure them. How will you measure success? The Grant Review Board cannot assume anything about a project when reviewing an application. Every detail must be spelled out. If you've never written a grant before, it can seem intimidating, so here are some tips to keep in mind. Write in plain, clear language that's easy for the review board to understand, but that also provides an appropriate level of detail. Avoid using long sentences as much as possible, but be precise. For example, if one of your goals is to improve morale, you need to tell us how you're going to measure whether or not morale has improved. One way to do that is to submit a measurement instrument such as a survey. Even better, it's providing samples of the surveys. If your solution includes training, please don't simply say there will be training. Give precise details of the subject matter of the training, what you hope it will accomplish, how many people will be trained, and how you will measure the success of the training. Keep in mind that your grant application will be evaluated by members of the Grant Review Board who may not be familiar with your organization or work. Don't assume the reviewers know anything about your current situation. Go back to the basics. Write in third person and in active voice. For example, say, they will have completed the project before the deadline, instead of, the project will have been completed before the deadline. Again, be specific. Cite examples of who will be involved in the project what problem you are going to address, where this project will be carried out, and, most importantly, how funding this project will help your organization or your community. When writing the grant, the role of the LMC must be clear. There also must be full commitment by both parties, and the commitment must be explicit in the application. If possible, use local or specific data to demonstrate the problem you are attempting to solve. Make sure that the goals and objectives of your program are achievable and measurable. Don't be overly ambitious. Once you have your draft, have someone else in the LMC review it, make any suggestions, and any obvious edits. Don't depend on spell check. It misses word substitutions like severed for served or from for form. After your draft has been revised, Invite someone to review the application who knows nothing about what you are doing to make sure the application is clear. Once you have your final document, go through it once more to make sure it meets all of the solicitation requirements. Only when you feel confident that your application represents your very best efforts, submit the grant application in accordance with the procedures outlined and wait for a response from FMCS. Here are some additional resources to help you become more familiar with grant writing. For more information on the FMCS Grants Program, please visit our website at www.fmcs.gov. We have additional online resources that you may find helpful. 
Thank you for viewing this session. I hope you found it helpful. FMCS appreciates your continued interest in our Labor Management Cooperation Grants Program.